Yo, how's it going, everybody? It's your main man, Richard Unicorn Caller, and we are back with a brand new Spankin' Wizard 101 video. Of course, nothing new has happened, but a few things have happened, mainly in the Crown Shop and on Live Realm. So, if you don't know, that was very, very loud. Um, if you guys don't know, we have Christmas in July, a little special event they have in Wizard 101. Uh, it's a pretty cool event, I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing that they would, um, have this finally. Now that it's, uh, finally Christmas in July, you can do the Krampus Dungeon, which is located, actually, in Wizard City. You can do the Wooden Skeleton Key, the Gold Skeleton Key, or the Stone Skeleton Key versions of Krampus. Uh, Krampus doesn't really drop anything decent. You actually have the chance to actually get coal, since it is kind of Christmas themed. You have the chance to get coal, or you can get one of his wands, which the wands aren't really the best. I wouldn't say they're the, honestly the best, but y you know. Um, it, it is what it is. Now, going on from this, it's Christmas in July, like I said. They have all the Christmas packs here. They also bring back the Crown Awards. We have not seen the Crown Awards in a very, very long time. That's right. The Crown Awards are back, and this time it's stupid. I mean, all the Crown Awards are pretty stupid, and as we progress through all this as it loads up, uh, we will basically be discussing why this is stupid. So we just gotta wait for this to load up, and I'll show you guys why this is stupid. So basically, it has like 13 tiers or 12. Yeah, we're just gonna start all the way from the bottom, all the way from the bottom starting. So, at the first tier, it costs 750 crowns. You will get a Yuli Tide pack, and you will get a polka dot wrapped gift decoration, which is a housing item. And then at tier 2, which is 3,750 crowns, you will need the polka dot uh, long... Uh, yeah, you'll get the... Okay, we'll scroll back. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll get another gift box, and you'll get a 2015 Winterland pack. Then at tier 3, at 7,500, you will get the wrapped gift gift uh, housing. Then you'll get another gift. You'll basically get gift boxes. I don't, I don't know why they would give you that. I mean, it is Christmas themed, so of course you would get that. And then going on from that, let me see if I can stop making this go automatic. There we go. All right. Then at tier 4... Tier 4, ladies and gentlemen, you get a Mega Reagent Pack, a Mega Reagent Pack, and another Mega Reagent Pack. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of Mega Reagent Packs here. I don't, I don't know why they're giving out so many Mega Reagent Packs. I, maybe they just ran out of ideas or whatever. Then you get an Evil Snowman Pet at Tier 5 for 18,750 crowns. You get a Snowflake Wrapped Gift then at all the way, all the way up to 22,500 crowns, you will get a Winter Wonder Pack, then you'll get another one, and then you'll get two Gingerbread Packs. So you get two of each of these packs. Then at tier 7, at 24,750 crowns, you'll get two Yuli Tides and two 2015 Winter Wonderlands. Then at tier 8, 37. That's right, 37,500 crowns. For this one, you're going to get some housing items. Mega reagent pack, mega reagent pack, and yeah. Um, I don't know why it's just mega reagent packs. I don't know why there's such a spam of them. Now, tier 9 is actually the interesting one. You get the Boon Tree Seed. I'm going to be honest. This seed is not hard to get. Literally, I have a lot of these seeds. Or can get a lot of these seeds. Um, I wouldn't really say that this in particular tree or this particular gardening seed is worth 48,750 crowns. That's just my opinion. And you're also going to get a gardening benefit, which is one hour. So, for all of you people that haven't harvested your plants yet, if you want to drop a lot of crowns just to get this gardening benefit elixir, 
uh, you know, go for it. I'm not really sure when or ever going to get that double gardening rewards. I understand a lot of people have been waiting for it, but I just thought that was interesting that they'll give you a seed that you can pretty much farm for. It's just an easy to get. And then they give you this gardening benefit for one hour, and it's only for one hour only. So you pretty much got one use of it. Use it wisely. Now at tier 10, we have the 52,500 crown mark. This is a snack pack booster pack. A snack pack booster pack. And you also get a tropical candy cane permanent mount. Now at tier 11, it's at 71,250 crowns. You get a snowy cat pet, an ice flow siren, and a yuletide spirit. You can actually farm for pretty much of these. I don't know about the snowy cat pet, but the ice flow siren, I usually tend to get a lot of these. I think I get these from like Mira Lake or something. I think I have like a lot of these. Same thing with the Yuletide Spirit, I believe. I believe you can also farm that in Mirror Lake as well. You can mostly farm all this stuff. Then at the last tier, this is the last tier, at tier 12, it's going to be 75,000 crowns. Now this is what you're going to get. Drum roll, please. If you can see it, you can read it. You get a Blizzard Elf Pet, which anybody can usually get. And then you get the Wizard 101 Mount Wolf of the Winter, like a Lord of the Wing, like the, you know, Lord of the Rings type of mount. Uh, that's in the Winter Wonderland packs. That's in one of the packs, basically. So if you already have this mount, you probably don't need to do all this. And like I said, this Blizzard Elf pet you don't really need as well. And then it gives you not one, not three, but it gives you a lot of Mega Reagent packs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So basically, when you spend the 75,000 crowns, you will get nine Mega Reagent packs. Plus, you'll get this little wolf amount, and you'll get this useless pet. So, going in from all that, you have six days to get it. What do I think of it? I think it's stupid. I've always thought that the crown awards were stupid. I never really liked the fact of spending a large amount of crowns for useless rewards. The only rewards that are pretty good there are probably the Mega Reagents, even though they give a spam of it. I should probably take that back, actually. As a matter of fact, I, I just don't like it in general. Now, don't worry, they give you a gardening elixir in there, but it costs you a lot of crowns just to get that one elixir. Personally, for me, I'm not really a big crown awards guy, and I really don't care. As a matter of fact, though, this is probably the only time I would actually log into Wizard and make a video. The rest of the time, I'll be playing other video games because I'm just not a big fan or just... I don't know. I'm, I'm not liking the direction that Wizard 101 is going. I, I'm really not enjoying it. And personally, I would only come here to feed my plants. And sometimes I don't even do... I mean, it's just... I don't know. I'm losing interest. I'm losing a lot of interest. But that was pretty much all there is on Wizard 101. Test Realm is back up online. They have all that fancy stuff. You know, the battle pass and all that stuff. You know, a, a bunch, you know, a bunch of stuff to pay for it, and, you know, and, you know. At the end of the day, though, I don't really have any beef with Wizard 101. I appreciate what they do, but at the same time, it's just a little frustrating, and it is quite annoying that, well, there's really no content in the game besides stuff in the crown shop. Even though this crown awards is optional, that's not really the main problem. The main problem is that this is adhering to everybody that has gambling problems. And I'm just personally sick of it, personally. But, you know, whatever. I'm just going to go play Apex Legends or something else. Get my mind off things. Hey, I might even play Fortnite for once. Let me know what you guys think about this. And let me know if anything else happens on Wizard 101. My name is Richard Unicorn Caller. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.